There is significant phonological variation among the various Yiddish dialects. The description that follows is of a modern standard Yiddish that was devised during the early 20th century and is frequently encountered in pedagogical contexts. Consonants Per meter, p, b, are bilabial, whereas, f, v, are labiodental. The, l, contrast has collapsed in some speakers. The palatalized coronals, n, t, s, d, z, t, d, s, z, appear only in Slavic loanwords. The phonemic status of these palatalized consonants, as well as any other affricates, is unclear. K and are velar, whereas, j, are palatal, is an allophone of, n, after, k, and it can only be syllabic. The phonetic realization of, chi, and, n, is unclear. In the case if, chi, Kleina 2003 puts it in the, velar, column, but consistently uses a symbol denoting a voiceless uvular fricative chi to transcribe it. It is thus safe to assume that, chi, is phonetically uvular, chi, in the case of N, Kleina 2003 puts it in the palatalized column. This can mean that it is either palatalized alveolar N or alveolopalatal, may actually also be alveolopalatal, rather than just palatal. The rhotic R can be either alveolar or uvular, either a trill R tilde, or, more commonly, a flap tap tilde. The glottal stop appears only as an intervocalic separator, as in the Slavic languages with which Yiddish was long in contact Russian, Belarusian, Polish, and Ukrainian, but unlike German, voiceless stops have little to no aspiration. Unlike many such languages, voiced stops are not devoiced in final position. Moreover, Yiddish has regressive voicing assimilation, so that, for example, zakt says is pronounced zikt and hq hak dm forward is pronounced ha dm. Topic. Vowels The vowel phonemes of standard Yiddish are are near close, but may sometimes be realized as close I. These allophones are more or less in free variation, but they could have been separate phonemes in the past. Appears only in unstressed syllables, the last two diphthongs may be realized as a ah and Respectively, in addition, the sonorants, l, and, n, can function as syllable nuclei. Yizel zeal, donkey, on vn, t, evening, m, and, appear as syllable nuclei as well, but only as allophones of, n, after bilabial consonants and dorsal consonants, respectively. The syllabic sonorants are always unstressed. Topic. Comparison with German In vocabulary of Germanic origin, the differences between Standard German and Standard Yiddish pronunciation are mainly in the vowels and diphthongs. Examples are the German long, a, as in Vader father, which corresponds to in Yiddish patter, eftier, and the German long, e, and long, o, which correspond to diphthongs in Yiddish, and as in many Germanic languages, Yiddish lacks the German front rounded vowels, o, o stroke, and y. They are replaced in Yiddish by in the case of the short o, in the case of the long o stroke, and in the case of y, respectively. Diphthongs have also undergone divergent developments in German and Yiddish. Where Standard German has merged the middle high German diphthong a and long vowel i to a, pronounced a, Standard Yiddish has maintained the distinction between them as and a, respectively. The German a, as in coffin, by, corresponds to the Yiddish in quippen, kafen. Lastly, the German as in Deutsch German, corresponds to a ah, in Yiddish in Dayatz, dat. Another difference is that the vowel length distinctions of German do not exist in standard Yiddish. There are consonantal differences between German and Yiddish. Yiddish deaffricates the middle high German voiceless labiodental affricate pf to f initially as in pone font, though this pronunciation is also quasi-standard throughout northern and central Germany, pf surfaces as an unshifted p medially or finally as in place pl and kop kp. Additionally, final voiced stops appear in standard Yiddish but not northern standard German. 